Hello and welcome to another episode of Blaster Cated Painting. Today we're going to be painting Wampas from Star Wars Legion. Nothing better than painting heavily furred snow beasts in the dead of summer. So I've had a bunch of people ask me to continue to do uh, Star Wars content, so for the next little while I'm definitely going to do that because it is some of my favorite stuff to paint. These particular miniatures are 3D prints from, um, I might get the pronunciation wrong, Squ Squamous, Squamous miniatures. Um, they're really cool and uh, there's some easy things we can do to get them painted. Just as a bit of housekeeping, I did get a new camera, a new microphone, and I just had a molar pulled yesterday. So if I'm talking a little weird, that's why. I'm also uh, in a considerable amount of discomfort. No better time to film a video than having just removed a tooth. So one of the first things I did was I actually gave them a spray of this camo coat paint. It was like a light pale yellow. That's the original colors of the actual Wampa costume that they used in uh, Empire Strikes Back in the 80s. So after giving them a spray of that camo coat, I gave them a Zenithal of white ink. And you can see that here, it's really subtle that yellow up to the white. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take Apothecary White by uh, Citadel and we're going to put this pretty much all over the miniature. We don't want it to pool too much and we don't want to put it on too thickly. So anytime that happens, just go through again and just uh, wick some off with your brush that's dried. Then we're going to go to Dead White by Vallejo, and this is just going to be a dry brush all over the miniature. While doing this dry brush, we mostly want to do the heaviest parts on the tops of the miniature. So if you're looking at it straight down, those parts, we want to give the heaviest amount of dry brushing. Next, we want to take Pallid Bone from the Army Painter. This is going to go all over the face parts, so the nose, under the eye, around the eyes here. We're also going to use this on the pads of the hands and feet and uh, around the gums as well. Next, we're going to go to Black Templar by Citadel, and this is just going on the horns and the fingernails and toenails. Next, we're going to Grave Lord Grey from the Army Painter. This is actually going to go the toenails of the uh, Tauntaun leg that the One Wampa is holding. Basically, just to switch it up from the Wampa to the Tauntaun so they look a little different, but not completely different. I don't know. It's just what it's the choice. The choices I make are vexing. Next, we're going to Bone White, and we're just going to highlight up the teeth. Somewhere along the path from 1980 to 1997, when the Special Editions came out, 
the wampa went from having like a brown like a yellowy face to just a terrible black face in his mouth and his eyes i don't like the design of the new one as opposed to the old one the old one is amazing so that's why we're doing it this way So we're going to take some Aethermatic Blue and we're going to water it down quite a bit and this is just going to go on the saliva strings between his teeth. Just really lightly. Next we're going to Blood Red by the Army Painter and we're going to be putting this on all the fleshy parts the Wampa is eating and around his mouth and also all the fleshy bits on the leg. Next, we're going to take Aethermatic Blue and Space Wolves Gray, and we're going to mix this together and put this all over the base to give us our bluish, our off bluish sort of frozen tundra y color. And we're going to take that Black Templar one more time and we're just going to put this right on the eyes. We got cold, lifeless eyes, black eyes like a doll's eyes. Joss! And we're going to take some white glue, we're going to take some white paint, and we're going to take some baking soda, and this is how we're going to make snow. This is a weird thing to mix, so you kind of have to do it the way you want, what consistency you want. I usually want it pretty thick, and I'm going to put this in little patches all over the base. You can put this on really thick, and it will dry fine, or you can put it on really thin and kind of just like dab it on. Either way, this is the way that I like to do thick snow we're gonna add a black rim around the base once everything is dry and these guys are done all things considering how quick and easy of a paint job this is i am really happy how these guys turned out I know they're not official models, but they're just something that was so cool that I had to paint. I, I really love the Star Wars universe for creatures like this. These were a ton of fun to paint, and I guess they don't have to necessarily just be for Star Wars Legion. You could fit these into a game of Frostgrave pretty easily. Either way, thank you for watching. Share, like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff, and we will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Wampa. Painting wampos. Painting wampos. Look at them wampos paint. I'm, yeah, I'm recording that. <laughs> Whoops. Hello and welcome to another episode of Looked at the Away from the Camera. Looked away. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. They are super fun miniatures to paint and I, oh. Mmm. Mmm. Can't open that wide when you just had a tooth removed. Gah.